Good morning, kids. We are just gonna go on with this video and pretend that Donald Trump did not just get elected as our next president. Um, so, good morning, I'm Ave. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit subscribe down below. I answer your questions about exchange. I'm in the middle of writing a book right now and you can follow my website or any of my social media links in the description box below. <sighs> okay, so in last week's video, I answered a question um, about the hardest part of exchange and then today I'm going to continue with that same girl's question she asked a lot and she asked some good ones which I get um, they're pretty common questions so I just figured that I'm just yeah gonna answer the rest of her questions um, her first one in the second part of this question is why did I choose Brazil and for those of you who are not familiar with Rotary you don't really get to choose your country in the sense that for me, um, it was kind of like you write from one to 10, your top 10 choices, number one being where you wanna go the most, and then wherever they have availability and that they feel you will fit uh, best is where they will put you. I know some other Rotary Club, that was how mine went by the way, but um, some other Rotary Clubs make you take a test and then it will test you into where you'll fit best. Yeah, there's lots of different ways that it happens, but you don't necessarily get to just choose I'm going to Brazil or whatever, but I really, really, really just wanted South America anywhere. I wanted to learn Spanish or Portuguese, and I joined the very last minute in the Rotary Club, so it was very lucky that I was even able to go on exchange, let alone to Brazil, and it ended up being like the perfect fit for me, and it changed my life, so that's how that went down. Um, her next part of this is that she says she feels like you become like a family with the other exchange students. <laughs> yes, that's very true. The exchange students were like family to me and they're there to support you the whole time and they know exactly what you're going through and in most cases, your exchange students will be your best friends, not the native people, which sounds kind of weird to say, but I kind of had a rough time making Brazilian friends. And from most exchange students I know um, for South America, not that you get bullied or anything, it's just easier to become friends with the other exchange students who are doing exactly what you're doing and going through exactly what you're going through. Um, and they're just as open-minded as you are to do something like an exchange, so you're kind of already on that same wavelength. So yeah, but my exchange student friends are my best friends and I'm planning to go visit them. I'm going to Europe to go visit my one of my very best friends in France. Anastasia, which I know you're going to be watching this, so hello, bonjour, and Paola, hopefully we'll either meet us there or I'll see Paola soon, she's from Mexico, and I love her too, hi Paola, um, yeah, but your exchanges are definitely your best friends, it's just how it happens, you just become a little family, and it's amazing, there's going to be drama and stuff too, and whatever, like, they're normal people, but they'll be your best friends, did you go to Brazil knowing who you are, or did you discover yourself during the trip? Okay, so for me, I think exchange was a huge part of who I have grown into, absolutely. But at the same time, I went on exchange when we all pretty much go on exchange during a part of your life where you are growing into who you're gonna be. I think that just kind of comes with your age. Me being, I was 16 when I left and 17 when I came back, barely turned 17 when I returned. So that's just a very different time in your life where you're discovering who you are, so I think both parts come into it, but Brazil definitely opened up my mind and helped shape my new thoughts about the world and just changed my perspective. Like Brazil's not, a, Brazil's amazing, but there's poverty almost everywhere and seeing poverty every day really changed me. That's why I really encourage kids who go on exchange to maybe pick a Central or South American exchange just for the perspective change alone. Not that a European or Asian exchange would be awful or negative or anything like that. I just really think that it really just shifts your mind overall and that little shift in your mind shifts everything once you, like I just became so much more grateful and became, I was just surrounded with so much gratitude for an entire year that it really changed who I am and where I want to go in life and what I want to do. I noticed you're beginning a book that's amazing, very exciting. Hopefully it will be up for pre-order soon. Wink, wink. Um, do you think Brazil is one of the reasons you wanted to write a book? For sure. I think my exchange is one of the reasons I wanted to write a book and I just think over the past couple months and towards the end of my exchange I was really, you know, I'm sitting here and I make YouTube videos for you guys who are curious or want to know how to go on exchange. I've helped kids personally and through emails and through my website. I just feel like I've helped a lot of people with my advice even though I don't have a huge following right now. Um, that I kind of just want to share and make it 
easier and instead of having to answer all these questions individually I just want to create something for you guys that you'll be able to buy and have basically all your answers or all your questions answered and I don't know it's something that I wish I would have had I wish I had a little how-to guide on how to exchange but I think now that I've gone through all the fumbling through it and I feel like I've had a very successful exchange even though I was in um, some crappy circumstances that I can just show others how to do the same so I really hope that this book and these videos are helping you guys and if you have any other comments or questions please leave them down below thank you guys so much for watching like I just said if you have any other questions comments leave them down below recommendations I'm starting to do some videos in Portuguese I've edited a few I'm like really insecure about my Portuguese because it's gotten really bad but for all of you commenting and asking me and DMing me to do videos in Portuguese they're coming I just kind of want to know what I should do videos in Portuguese about and if you have recommendations or questions or anything please just leave them down below or inbox me all my social media links are in the description and I will see you in my next video ciao